I'm totally unqualified for my position. Because, <laughs> well, I mean, it is true. My PhD is in pure mathematics. Yeah. Right? And, and, and the last biology course I took for a grade was sophomore year of high school at Stuyvesant. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Two with Teachers. I am here today with biology professor and founding director of the Broad Institute at Harvard and MIT, Eric Lander. Hello. Good to see you. <laughs> How did you meet your wife? I met my wife sophomore year of college. I was an undergraduate at Princeton, mm -hmm. and we were both taking constitutional law. Accidentally, I had left my textbook at the, well, it, it's a longer and shaggier story than that. I truly had accidentally left my textbook, which she then, she returned to me. I saw that she had been appointed to the university's budget setting committee and I suddenly developed an intense interest in the university's budget setting process. So I guess my senior year, I managed to finagle getting appointed to the budget setting committee. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, our, we, we dated for the senior prom. We ended up traveling to Japan uh, that summer. Oh, what did you guys do in Japan? We went to Japan because Lori was interested in going to Japan and I was interested in Lori and that was a good enough reason for me. Do you guys travel a lot still? We love to travel. Our kids have a running competition amongst themselves as to how many countries they've been to. Oh. So the family has an official spreadsheet. Well, there are even official family rules. You don't get credit for a country if you merely transit through the airport. Okay. You actually have to be out of the airport and you have to have, a, have had a meal in the country. How do you focus on trying to connect with your students? Like, how do you make an effort to relate to them? When you're a teacher, you drop pebbles in the pond and ripples go out and you'll never see where those ripples mostly end up. One summer day, I was sitting at a little three-table restaurant, a little Italian place in Cambridge, and there was only one other group of people there, two people sitting at a table. One of the people stares at me through the entire dinner, and then finally gets the courage to come over to me and says, are you Eric Lander? I said, I am. He said, I took your course. And it turned out he was an Iraqi refugee who had gone to Turkey had no work permit, couldn't work, and instead took online courses. And he took my intro bio course that we, we did on M MITx, learned biology from it, and was now working in a lab at the Harvard Medical School. Now, I guess I'll transition into a different style of question. Sure. Just like fun, fun facts. Fun facts, okay, fun facts. we'll see how fun they are. If you could only use one piece of technology other than your computer and your phone, what would it be? I'd, I'd go for my bicycle. If you had a warning label, what would it be? Probably the same thing as the as in Hitchhiker's Guide for Earth. Okay. Mostly harmless. Given the choice of anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would you like to have over at a dinner party? I would invite over the founding fathers of the United States. Do you have any daily rituals? Do I have a daily ritual? Yes. I come home each night and I put down my bag, put down my coat, and I go, mochi, mochi, for our dog, and I run into the living room, lie down on the floor, and mochi licks my face. If you could pass on any piece of wisdom to your students, what would it be? Surround yourself by smart, kind, generous people. Everything else will flow from that. Choosing your environment of where you're gonna work and where you're gonna live is more important than anything else because you're gonna get shaped by it. Choose those kinds of people and the rest will be. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Tea with Teachers. If you like what you saw, subscribe and watch more videos here. Follow us on social media here. If you have suggestions for questions or professors, let us know down in the comments below. Have a great week.